Hi there, my name is Jerry Murphy and I'm a meteorologist with METAIR, the Irish National Meteorological Service. For a good number of years now I have worked as a for weather forecaster in Met Erin and that is a very interesting job. Indeed it's the, one of the core uh, roles of Met Erin to forecast and communicate weather forecasts to the Irish public. I always say that there are three aspects to the work of a forecaster. There is the analysis of the weather and we do that in Met Erin by taking a account of the various observation tools that we have. The weather observations from the stations around the country, also um, rainfall radar observations, satellite observations as well, and indeed observation reports from climate stations and indeed more recently from broader sources of data from the general public. This data is all then uh, taken into account as we analyse the numerical weather prediction forecast models. These are the very large computer programs which basically help us to forecast the weather. They predict the weather in um, high resolution models for the first two days and then uh, slightly lower resolution models then for the medium range uh, for the next seven to ten days. And as a forecaster our job is to take account of the observations to and work with those to see how the models are performing and then analyse the output of the various forecast models and produce our weather forecasts. And then that leads to the very important third aspect of the forecast process which is communicating the forecast. Now the communication of the forecast is very important because it's the communication aspect that the public actually hear. So our role in terms of forecasting, we produce warnings for severe weather and it's very important that these warnings are accurate and that they are relevant to um, the location where the severe weather is expected to take place. But it's also very important that these are balanced in a way that not only warns the public but also reassures the public and doesn't scare them. And in more recent years, we have uh, moved to what we call impact-based forecasting, where we focus on what the weather will do as opposed to just what the weather will be. And this means that we give additional information to the public in relation to what the impact of the weather will be, particularly severe weather. An important part of the communication role then is the, distribu the distribution really of the forecast. We distribute the forecast primarily on our website, but also um, through our traditional service, the Weather Dial service, also on radio and also on TV. And I'm one of the people that uh, pr uh, communicates the weather via television. Uh, this is a, an important and a very uh, enjoyable role because you have great ownership of the forecast message on TV. You have uh, the ability to show good graphics, you have the ability to explain very well the, uh, the weather situation that is developing and then you also have the responsibility of representing Met Aaron in a very public environment and TV is a very good and is still a very good means of uh, uh, communicating with the Irish public especially in conditions of severe weather. So overall the ro my role as a forecaster is quite broad, quite varied and apart from just the core role of forecasting then there are many projects to get involved in within the forecast office and as I've already mentioned I am, uh, have been involved in many of the projects in introducing impact based forecasting to Met Aaron. Uh, then there, is an inter there can be an international dimension to your work and over the past 12 months I was a, a member of the UMetNet, that's the European, um, the European Meteorological Network. It's a network of meteorological services around Europe and I was part of the drafting team on that in relation to their observations programme. So this is a broader element of the work in addition to forecasting. Then um, before I became a forecaster I held other roles in Meharan. So in the 1990s I was the chief scientist of Valencia Observatory in Carter Sabine in County Kerry and this was a very very interesting job. At Valencia Observatory it's much more than just a weather observation station. There were additional uh, scientific measurements being done there and still being done there. So we measured total column ozone, ozone using the, uh, an instrument called a Brewer spectrophotometer. We also measured the profile of ozone up through the atmosphere using ozone sounds. And one of the core activities at Valencia Observatory were upper air measurements using radio sounds. That is basically sending a balloon with a radio sound attached to it, which then gives you a profile of the temperature pressure, humidity and wind right the way up through the atmosphere and this is a very important input into the forecast models for forecasting. 
as well as that at the Lenter Observatory there were other measurements so including the geomagnetics measuring the Earth's magnetic field the absolute field the declination and the inclination there are also seismometers at the Lenter Observatory which um, trace the the movement of the Earth and would spike and give very good information uh, when earthquakes would occur in any part of the world. There are also other measurements in relation to air quality um, and uh, solar radiation as well. So there was a wide variety of instrumentation at Valencia Observatory and my role as scientist there was to ensure the quality of all the measurements and all data emanating from the observatory. When I came back to Dublin then in the early 2000s I was involved, I was the agricultural meteorologist for two years and the main, um, my most significant memory of that work was that I was involved in the foot and mouth crisis in 2001. This met and played a very important role during the foot and mouth crisis in the, in the sense that we uh, produced um, pollution dispersion models to give to help the Department of Agriculture uh, predict where the virus might spread to via the wind, via the weather weather parameters. And so I was involved in representing Metairn over that period during the foot and mouth crisis. Um, after that I uh, moved on to forecasting where I am presently and I find my work in Metairn very, very enjoyable and very varied. Meteorology as a science is a very interesting and very useful science to society. The weather is all around us, the climate is all around us, and weather has an influence on people's decisions, their everyday decisions, and also on business decisions, on emergency service decisions, life-saving decisions. So meteorology is a very important science, a very interesting science, quite a complex science, because in forecasting the movement of the atmosphere, you're forecasting the movement of a fluid, which is quite a complex process. But a career in meteorology is a very worthwhile and very enjoyable career and I'm very happy to be a meteorologist with my hair.